All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this later for some Teamer Vanifar action. So this is a donation deck. Uh, we had a donation yesterday to, to put together a Vanifar deck for today. So this is what we got. Jiren with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for the sub. Hope you're enjoying all the awesome new emotes. Got six of them uh, today. So... Big hype day with some new stuff, new emotes, uh, new glasses, and there we go. Um, so we actually just kind of went through, uh, we had a question earlier of like, what what did we change from last time when we played Team Ravanifar? And so we actually just kind of went through all the cards a little bit ago, so kind of missed that here for this recording. Um, but basically what we're trying to do here is uh, use Prime Speaker Vanifar to chain up, to get some more creatures up the chain of command. So um, we'll kind of see how it goes. We we do not have a whole lot of removal, so, um, you know, we don't really want to get behind. But that's, that's what our sideboard's for. Uh, we're playing against, like, the decks especially with flyers you know we we can handle ground creatures just fine we got plenty of blockers but flyers we got some coils and harpooners and vivians to help out with that um but here we go let's let's give it a try teamer vanifar good part about a new league especially with a, a fun janky deck is that the five win dream is still alive. All right, what do we got? Good hand. We got turn three Vanifar, which is exactly what we want. And then we can play like a... Um, We can play like a Rejuvenator into a uh, Rekindling Phoenix, for example. It's a bunch of blue and black mana over there. Looks like we're doing just kind of exactly that. Land drop. Nice. So we'll get a second red source. And unfortunately, you can only do Vanifar anytime you can do a sorcery, so we can't just uh, sit back and and wait for like a respond to a removal spell. This would be really good if you get Frilled Mystic. If you just have instant speed Frilled Mystics, man, that'd be awesome. Attack! Um, hmm. I guess it's going to be biogenic ooze time. Pun looks a little ways away from any kind of sweeper. Biogenic ooze time. Biogenic ooze time. Yeah, opponent got stuck on two lands. I mean, we only had four lands. We, we missed a land drop also, but yeah, they missed more. All right, so all we saw was Cast Down and Orzov Enforcer. It's not a whole lot to see. Um... Oh, and we only got the fourth land because of Rejuvenator, so we only drew three. Yeah, just do that every game. <laughs> there we go. Just uh, replay. So Negates and Daredevil, I guess, and Vivian. Those are the cards that uh, definitely considering playing here. I think we can take out Palaka Worm. And maybe take a Ravager Worm out. 
Siege Gang. Get a couple Vivians. Nagate. Alright, how does this look? Don't need mirror image against enough sorry, as much against removal heavy decks. Yep, Vanifar is a news. So yeah, Vanifar gets the counters as well. From Biogenic Ooze. Alright, good hand. We get to Branch Walker on turn two. Uh, cannot land War Elf on turn two. Or sorry, on turn one. Erasure my thoughts. Our opponents are erasing my thoughts. All right, let's get this Esper Angels. YouTube video kind of ready to go. That's a bunch of Tuna Gates and a Vivian down at the bottom of the library. That's not so good. February 16th, 2019. Who day? Happy Saturday. Thank you so much, Uday. Thanks for subbing there for the 26th month in a row. You are amazing. Um. All right, so that is sub number 18 on the day. Thanks, Uday. Yeah, I did hear about Jeff. That's, yeah, that was, yeah, it's, you know, just awful news. Jeff was a wonder, he was a wonderful guy. He was a really good dude. Aramachus, thanks for getting in on the sub action as well. Thank you so much, sub number 19 on the day. Yeah, we got six brand new emotes. If you haven't, if y'all haven't noticed those, we got the five win dream pack opening, the GG emote, our final boss emote, the Santa gift emote, and of course everybody's favorite, the cat butt emote for Hawkeye. <laughs> uh, Jeff Zandy, he was a, um, just don't have land. I want to keep that card. He is a, a, a fixture in the Texas magic community who passed away last night. Um, Organized a lot of tournaments and everything, and um, real good, real good person. We lost to um, we lost to 
uh, Turbo Fog, or you know, the Simic Nexus is what we lost to. Yeah, it was definitely a pillar of the Texas community, Jeff Sandy. Right, let's see if we get to eat this. Eat the Thief Sandy. Okay. No, you don't attack or you don't attack. I think I'm turning the reju the rejuvenator into another rekindling phoenix. Um Blue Black doesn't have a whole lot of sweepers necessarily. All right, starting off with a win. Ah. What rogue deck do you think is among the best against today's metagame? Um. I liked the Esper taking turns we played yesterday. I've been I've been still playing that deck uh, um, a decent amount, uh, even off stream. I've been having fun with that. Um, It's my record off stream. I don't. I don't really keep a record, honestly. I don't like write down a record or anything. So I don't know. Yeah, hundred percent. Never lost. But yeah, actually, Nia Legends does have a, a lot of good game against a lot of the the decks. All right, please don't don't kill my Vanifar. Whoa. That's a problem. Hmm. Ah, uh, Chupacabra, come on. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I can I can ooze. That's what I'm thinking I'm gonna have to do here. But that still puts us down to nine. That's not good. We just have to kill Jade Light Ranger, otherwise Jade Light Ranger kills us. I cannot do haste here. That's not big enough to survive. That was bad. I had to do the counter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we didn't draw a land anyway. I need I need to draw a land and ravage over this thing too. Wing Wing Temple is just gonna destroy us. Oh wait, I could have just destroyed the Wing Temple. Oh crap! I forgot about that part. I could just destroy the wing temple. Uh, so I could have just put a counter on it and destroyed wing temple. We would have been just fine. Man, I messed this this whole game up. Yeah, I messed this whole game up. And I don't I don't have anything to go get to stop this from happening right now. I just I just forgot about that part of Ravager Worm, of course. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's my bad. Forgot about that. Certainly seems like we need lava coil. Hmm. What else are we sideboarding here? Reclamation Sage is, is obviously really good at destroying Hadana's Climb before it flips, but you know, when when they're playing Hadana's Climb it usually flips right away. Um Yeah, don't I guess we don't really need the rest of the cards. I could you know, I could see us getting in like to a staring match where Tatiova could help us out quite a bit. But I still think I'm going to take it out. Like there's a scenario where it does a whole lot for us, but I you know, I don't think that scenario is necessarily likely. I'm going to take out uh, one Rhythm of the Wild and one Elvish Rejuvenator as well. So, all right, we have a good curve here, but you know, no interaction. Um, that's kind of our deck, though. No interaction. So that's okay. Hmm. Let's go Rejuvenator, where I can potentially Biogenic Ooze already next turn. Whew. Barely getting there. With only one of the top five cards being a land, barely getting there. Uh, no, I wasn't. I wouldn't say I was disappointed with with Esper Angels. I was disappointed with our draws. Like we we drew pretty bad for the most part. Um, I think I made a, a mistake with a um, a Thought Erasure in one game. Besides that, we just had we just kept on getting stuck on lands for our twenty six land deck. Except for we had like one game where it's just Flooded out real hard. The amount of lands we had was certainly a big issue throughout uh, the league. Carnage Siren. Yeah, they had one land, but they had five. Like, they basically had five lands with, like, the the double incubation druid, land war elf. They had five mana out there, but it took them some time to get that out there. And we had a, a real good hand. We were on the play, had Branch Walker, Rejuvenator, and then we had turn four ooze, turn five ooze. You know, like, so that's, that's really strong on the play that we had there. Hey, got to keep this five win dream alive. Hmm. Love it. Keep that card. 
Best card to have on top. Speed up everything by a turn. Hopefully no ravenous chimichanga. Alright. Uh-oh, finality. What are you going to be doing with this finality over here, opponent? Super rude opponent. So I can either go get Biogenic Ooze, which grows the Vanifar above finality range, or I can have Jade Light go get another Phoenix and just have like a bunch of Phoenixes. Those are like my two options that I'm debating between. Um feeling, I feel when the dogs begin to smell her. Yeah, it's good to sack the Phoenix this turn. Um because it's it's the token this turn. And then cause next turn next turn we sack the Jade Light and get another Phoenix, and then the Phoenixes don't die to finality. Not to worry about finality right away, I suppose. I feel like we can just keep oozing for. Keep oozing. Keep on oozing. Yeah, I guess we could have sacrificed the tap one out. Oh. Yeah. I don't know if it really matters. Not really blocking with either one. Who's in for a bruising? Got there, two and O. Oh. All right, this is getting kind of laggy. It's going to do a reset three hours, a little over three hours in. Cruising. <laughs> We were cruising there. Nice. All right, two now. Yeah, this is this is definitely a fun deck for sure. Five win dream still alive. Love it. Another early Prime Speaker Vanifar hand. Yeah, who did, who did donate for this one? Narinen, Narinen donated for this one. Just saying, hey, put together a Vanifar deck, please. And here we go. Do you think modern gets implemented in arena in the far future? No, I don't think it, it ever will. Um, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and incubation druid over branch walker or anything. Just in increase in mana. Yeah, I don't expect. Don't expect it to ever. Come to arena. Hmm. We don't have anything like really that good to do with our Vanifar now, but it's it's unlikely that we untap with Vanifar. Yeah. Unlikely. Ravager Worm. Dang. 
Not Ravager Worm. Hey, Egg Yelks TV. Thanks for getting that Twitch Prime sub here. Enjoy all the awesome emotes. That is... Sub number 20 on the day. That means it's going to be pack time after this. Cracking up another pack. Yeah, Phoenix is probably okay. Alright, 104. Until our next emote and... Um, until another 12 hour stream for that. So let's see. I don't have the mana to I don't have the mana to um, play the Rekindling Phoenix and play new Incubation Druid and adapt new Incubation Druid. Are they gonna f I guess finality only really kills two things. I guess I'm not that worried about finality then. Um yeah, so actually I'm fine there. That hostage taker taking my Vanifar though. Pretty messed up. Oh, so they're just gonna cast Find and get the hostage taker back? And then hostage taker the Phoenix? No, nope, guess not. Yeah, I, I wasn't really expecting a 5-mana creature, either. Um, but I was thinking the opponent could have... They could have Doom Whisper, um, but I was thinking they, maybe they were just going to go get... Just use Fine Finality uh, to get back the Hostage Taker. Down to nine. Come on, draw something good. Come on, deck. Draw something good. Okay, not the worst. I don't necessarily have anything spectacular to go to go do right now. Yeah, hazy lads, it's been an awesome day. Lots of viewers in here. Got some new glasses on. We have a bunch of new emotes. We have some perf perfect circle playing. That's not so bad. That's better than them getting the... Honestly, I'd like that more than them casting Find and getting the Hostage Shaker back. Down to four. Down, down. So I can get another rekindling phoenix here. This is probably better than a random draw, even though it's not a, that good of one. I really want Ravager Worm. 
in particular. I'll just keep this. It's another 4-3 flyer and they're at 4. Yeah, Ooze... Yeah, that's true. Ooze would have been pretty good with the mana. The thing is, we knew about the finality. Uh. Every time you think you have a chance of winning, it's just Hydroid Crisis. And never mind. So no, the, the mirror image will leave a rekindling phoenix token. Like it, it does leave the the egg. Um the O1 elemental creature. But it does not put a rekindling phoenix into the graveyard, so the elemental creature has nothing to go get. Walker did not want to see that. Now they get to Vanifar away a Krasis and turn it into a Jade Light. This whole game would have been a whole lot better. For, this game would have been a whole lot better for us if they just did not have Hostage Taker on my Vanifar earlier. Okay, what can this do? This can kill the 5-5 five, five Krasis. Which I guess is a start, but it's a little late now. Yeah, manually tapping mana there because if I didn't, they were going to tap the Incubation Druid. Incubation Druid, they tap first a lot, so I have to tap the mana so they don't tap the Incubation Druid. It's annoying. Let's get some daredevils in here. Daredevil find finality? Sounds pretty good. And coils. Um. So 65. Again, we can take out a rhythm. Kind of taking out like the same cards. Taking out Palaka Worm. A rhythm. A siege gang. Hmm. A rejuvenator. I, I do want to keep Tatiova in. I like the, the card draw. Um the Tatiova provides. Yeah, do I want the other Siege Gang? Hey, okay. Hmm. 
Nice of you to join the stream, Honkai. It's an interesting hand here. Um, you know, if it comes together, it can be a pretty nice curve. Uh, as you can tell, we have two tap lands, uh, which is not a, not a great way to start it. So we're hoping to draw an untapped land. Not so lucky. Not so lucky. We're just really not lucky. Not getting any lands. Hey, like the new emotes, Cali Commuter? Nice. Woo! Okay. Now, let's go rhythm. We're gonna activate like Vanifar immediately when playing it. Phoenix, though, to start with. There's nothing that I just, like, really want to get at the three-mana slot with, Bran like, turning Branchwalker into, like, a Rejuvenator. Or, no, I, already, I only have the one, so I could just, like, turn... I could play Vanifar and turn Branchwalker into Jade Light. That's just not that appealing. We'll go turn this into Biogenic Ooze. And at least Prime Speaker Vanifar is out of finality range if our opponent has finality and decides to do that because of the Ooze putting the counter on the Vanifar. So we're still we're still gonna be doing just fine. We we'll go Tatiova with haste. Have Tatiova attack for three, and then sack Tatiova to go get Ravager Worm. Make it a six seven and have it kill the crisis. All right. So good thing the ooze made the Vanifar be able to survive the uh, the finality. That was big time.
Do I want like one harpooner in the deck? Nah. Maybe I need a harpooner. For for a crisis. Crisis is gonna be a problem. It's gonna be our biggest biggest problem. I got Daredevil. Daredevil is, is just fine, because like Daredevil can usually go find a removal spell from like the opponent. I like Rekindling Phoenix a ton with Vanifar. Like I really like the Rekindling Phoenix and um, Biogenic Ooze combo. But yeah, Chupacabra is certainly another really good creature to use. Absolutely, Chupacabra is a good one to use with... Uh, Vanifar. But I like how Phoenix just keeps coming back. And it's like, it's a good creature to go get. It comes back. It's just such a strong card. Now we saw there that having Tatiova was really nice. So just having a five, having another five drop. Uh, where's our blue mana? Phoenix is just such a good card. I'm just going to keep it. We'll have next turn Phoenix, the following turn Phoenix, and then Ravager Worm. Oh yeah, the this that's the song one. If you're asking about this song, this is 10 years uh, through the Iris. I don't know why it didn't, didn't come up, but yeah, that's... That is the song that is currently playing. Alright, good. They only have two cards left, and these Phoenixes... Yeah, we have two Phoenix. They have two cards. Hey, Minasaur. Doing really good. Today's been an awesome day. Awesome day. Really liking the new emotes. This whole album's really good. This uh, 10 years album. I used to listen to this album all the time. Uh, when exercising, like during, during college, this is like my workout album. Let's see. Thanks, King Toll. Um, if I block with Phoenix, they could use whatever other removal spell that kills the other Phoenix, but we get like, it's kind of like getting a two for one. I could just have it trade with Branch Walker. Guess I'll just have these trade. You think they have find? I... They have find. I would, I would like to block here. I feel like they have cast down. I feel like they have cast down. I think that has to be. I think that means cast down, because find only puts the one branch walker over there. All right, that block definitely means find. Yeah, that's, I kind of thought cast down was like their card. Oh, thief of sanity. Ooh, a thief of sanity. There we go. Bona picks him up. A little early there. 
So it was cast down, not find. So I called that one. Y'all were saying it had to be find. It's like three people said that. I was thinking it was cast down. All right, three O oh, GGs. There we go. All right, come on, Vanifar. You can do it. Yeah, that, that concession was definitely premature. Yeah. The dream's still alive. Still have the five win dream alive. Okay, Esper Angels is ready to go once I do a little bit more typing for it. It is a Magic the Gathering Arena is the game. Recording date today. Um, Alright, that one's up on YouTube now. Yeah, I'm going to keep this. But it's it's a you know it's a little awkward with these lands, but oh well. Uh, no, I don't I don't think a Vanifar deck would be tier one. No, I wouldn't. I'm not willing to say that. No, I was not expecting to do this well with this deck. But I'll take it. Certainly considering shocking in to play Rhythm of the Wild so that we could put a counter on the Incubation Druid and with it being a 1-3. Um, it would be able to have... be able to add more mana. So I did not... did not block there with the Druid because of Chain Whirler. Um... You know, I was a little worried about Chain Whirler, which is why I didn't block e either of those. You know, could have blocked the Firebrand and not taken the one. They are going to be able to kill the Phoenix, um, but it's going to take a lot of resources. So they, you know, this trades with, this has our one card. Because, you know, we're at 14. I don't want to just sit here and take a lot of damage. But it does take a lot of resources. It does take, okay, they did have Chain Whirler. That makes it less resources, but take a, take quite a bit of things there. The Gruel deck was pretty awesome. Our first two wins were, were decks that weren't necessarily the best, and they were kind of easy wins. Um, then we played, like, Mono Blue and Esper Midrange and things like that. Oh, come on. need that land for the Ravager Worm to eat up the a Chain Whirler. If our Druid does not die here... Okay, that coil. Let's go see if our Druid doesn't die there. We'd have a chance. Uh, we just don't we just don't have a chance anymore. We could have cast Plaka Worm if they didn't have the removal spell for that for that druid. I mean if I block here I'm just not winning ever. 
Okay, we're still not winning ever. We just kept on drawing every expensive spell with our three lands. It's not a good combination. So, Coil and Daredevil coming on in. Um, Siege Gang is really bad against Chain Whirler. I mean, Tatiova can gain life, but you have to have lands ETB. We didn't have lands to ETB. Rhythm doesn't seem like it's worth it. Like, taking the turn off to Rhythm doesn't feel so good. I'll take a Ravager Worm out for a Negate. And do I take out Tatiova? No, I'll leave it in. Yeah, you don't see yeah, you don't see red deck wins have twice as many lands. You know that late. Uh very often. One of those games though. Hey retract. It's going good. It's going real good. Um had Fun day, fun day playing at Magic. Lots of people in here having fun. We got these new emotes. Our five win dream is barely alive at the moment. Eh, it's not barely alive. We're three and zero. We're just down a game. For something bigger. Something bigger and better. I feel like Chain Whirler is just going to kill all of our things. Don't ch Chain Whirler all my stuff, please. Uh. At least I saved a land war elf. We got five mana right now. Opponent knows to keep us off a of seven. Oh, Chain Whirler. We had the mono one toughness hand. Uh, pretty bad. I don't think I don't think the elves suck in this matchup. I think the elves suck against specifically one card, Goblin Chain Whirler. If they're like, you know, using spells to kill the elves, I don't mind it. If, they're, if the elves are trading one for one, you know, like if we spend one mana on a card and it trades for one of their for one of Red's cards, it's good. But it's just terrible against specifically Goblin Chain Whirler. So the times they have Chain Whirler and you have elves, it it's awful. I don't think there's way too much mono red in the metagame. I think that's our second time to play mono red today. I think we played against it with Esper Angels. So two matches out of all the all out of like all those, that's fine. Alright, back to Soltai. So I I think I'm gonna rejuvenator on turn three. Sorry, on turn two here. I think I want to Rejuvenator. Um, so we can have the... 
Um, so we can have the three drop on the battlefield for Vanifar. Did I make a teamer Vanifar? I did not. I'm gonna make a teamer Vanifar thumbnail for YouTube. All right, teamer Vanifar. Please don't kill my Vanifar opponent. Please don't hostage taker it. Rude. Quite rude. I will take action against that. Save this. There we go. All right, I'm back. Hey, I've been working on this standard brew for a while, and it crushes my LGSs. Do you think you could look at it and maybe give it a try? I haven't seen anyone else trying it. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you can link it in the... Chat, absolutely. All right, let's start oozing. You know, I want to get this ooze going as fast as I can because of finality. Um, next turn, of course, if we mirror image ooze, that's, that's going to be really good for us. We'll see if they have some kind of answer to it, though. Mono black zombie. So, I haven't, you know, like, this is this is a little bit different Mono Black Zombies, and you have, you have Gutter Bones and Drill Bit from the, from the new set, but I've tried that kind of, I've tried that deck without, you know, before the new set without, you know, Gutter Bones and Drill Bit, and I couldn't beat uh, Golgari before, really, really struggled against Golgari. So how how do you like your Golgari matchup? Please don't finality. At least we got the one who's out of finality range. That certainly feels like they're gonna finality. All right, well, we still have two five fives as far as oozes go. Five fives are pretty big. So if I attack with the 6-6, six, six, they just to chump they get to chump block with Chupacabra and get their Chupacabra back. They're gonna do that kind of you know, eventually that Chupacabra is gonna come back. Kinda anyway. If they want to double block and have the Krasis die, is that good for me?
So I, I, I feel like the Chupacabra, the having the, making them use the Folly and have the the Chupacabra kill the six six, is is kind of fine with us having the uh, Palaka Worm, ready to go in hand. Hmm. Look like life. Steal like a I'm Rude. Okay. Meow. Oh, the auto tap tapped the memorial to folly. That's what the opponent was saying oops about. They, they drew a land anyway, so they were going to die to the Phoenixes. So yeah, they weren't they weren't going to win because of Phoenix. Man, Phoenix is such a good card. All right, so what did we do last time? We went Coils in, Daredevil in, and then I went... No, she Liliana's M19. You can open her up in M19 packs. I went Palaka Worm out, double Siege Gang out, one Rejuvenator out, one Rhythm out. That's what we did here. I'll keep one Siege Gang in over Tatiova this time. Alright, Hawkeye. We gotta win this. Keep that five... Keep the five dream... Five win dream alive and be able to play the final boss. Next round. Land, please. That's not a land. Just draw a land we can, like, rejuvenate her. Get another land into play. Opponent super rude. Trying to kill my mana creatures. Bunch of lands. Uh, we got three green. We'll just get this thing. Um, I don't think I attack. Come. Would you like to see what's left of Scala? All right, I'm gonna attack that thing. Scars are lessons written in skin. So if, we, if we draw a land, I've seen because presumably our opponent's going to create this, and then like hopefully we draw a land and we get to biogenic ooze, um, sack the ooze, get ravager worm, ravager worm, kill the crasis, um, and then have rekindling phoenix kill Vivian. It may just finality here though, if they're really scared of Prime Speaker Zagana or Vanifar. Sorry.
Oh, it's just a 4-4 anyway. I, I can coil that. Never mind. Yeah, coil. Perfect. Good job, coil. Let's do this again. Do we need to do this again? More phoenixes. Never enough phoenix. Yeah, Phoenix is, it is our workhorse, absolutely. Get Vanifar out of finality range. <laughs> yeah, it does look like an owl, doesn't it? Rekindling owl. Okay, you're sitting there so nice, though. There, there you go. There's the camera. You need to go say hi. Say hey, everybody. Well, I don't have the mana for this for these Ravager Worms yet. So with them, I was gonna say with them shocking there, they can't actually cast the Prime Speaker Vanifar. Because we would have had 12 in the air. All right, come on, land. Land, drop. Land, drop. Dang. I wanted to play other Biogenic Ooze. That game? Opponent says good game. Hawkeye, okay, we're four and one. Four and one. Ooh, final boss time. Final boss time, Hawkeye. Okay. What happened to all these pens? Here, you can. Ready to fight the final boss? It's this pen. Rar, rar. <sighs> All right, uh, let me get the final boss song on. There, there. So we don't have any extra lives, so either we lose and we go 4-2 and the league's over, or we win and we get to the, the five win dream and the league's still over, but we get to the five win dream. Uh, double sul sulfur falls. Hmm. Mono blue. This is going to be a tough game for us, you know, on on five cards. Um, but we could get lucky. We could draw some good cards. We'll see. 
Yeah, hard mode activated. Ugh. Not curious obsession. On an unblockable creature. Thanks, Remu. I'm glad you like the, the glasses. Yeah, they're brand got some brand new glasses. So we want to draw Siege Gang Commander here. We want to draw Siege Gang Commander. Do you think our deck's gonna gonna give us a a Siege Gang? Unfortunately, our opponent didn't really tap out. So, not really a good chance that Siege Gang actually resolves here. Little odd play on the trickster. They didn't just like tap it during main phase or anything. <sighs> double Herald? Or double, sorry, obsession on the Herald? Rough. <sighs> now that's just plain rude. That's just plain rude. So next turn when we have all of our mana, we can throw a bunch of goblins out of Miscloak Herald. We're not going to win this, though. They only have they only have just the one spell in the graveyard, so they don't they don't get to pump the Terramander yet. Okay, let's get uh, Harpooners and Lava Coils. Those should be pretty big upgrades. Let's just get these Rex Ages in also to be able to destroy Curious Obsession. Um, 
maybe some negates. We play all of that stuff. What are we taking out? Out of all of this stuff. Hmm. This is going to be a tough one. It's going to be tough. Do I... Maybe trim on Vanifars? Do I... I don't know. I kind of like Rhythm of the Wild, honestly. Like, making my creature spells uncounterable and giving them haste and everything. I actually kind of like this card in this matchup. You know, so they can't just, like, sit there and counter my Rekindling Phoenix and stuff. I go down on Vanifar. I just not play any ooze. Just have one Ravager Worm in. Um, then I ended up taking out... I went to just two negate. Um... And took out a branch walker also. So we don't have turn two rhythm right now, uh, but we got turn two rejuvenator, which should help us find a red source to be able to play rhythm. And then with rhythm, they can't counter our creatures anymore, and that's pretty cool. And our creatures also have haste, so it's easier for us to win races. Can hopefully find a red source somewhere in here. The top five cards. Like, five cards is a lot. That'll be a huge bummer if we completely whiff here. That's a huge bummer. Even just like any land would have been okay. That's a huge bummer. I'm not really expecting this game to go like this. So I only think our opponent has Trickster. Like, I'm not, not attacking in against the Trickster. Um, new to arena player, the best bang for your buck way to round out the collection. Um, the best is playing limited, uh, saving your gold um, that you get from your daily rewards and using the gold to draft. Um, you may not, if you're like brand new to magic, um, also like not just not just arena, but just magic in general. Um, drafting may be kind of hard and and or you may not enjoy it and if those are the case then just playing or then just you know buying packs is really like the only thing to do but I 
Don't know if I'm going to have the mana to ever use this this negate later. I mean, well, I guess I will. Yeah, I will. Land, please. Oh, my God. Could even just play Prime Speaker Vanifar here. Um... You know, we're looking, like, if we just resolve Prime Seeker Vanifar here, we likely get to sack the Rejuvenator and put a Rekindling Phoenix into play with Negate backup. Like, we're honestly just looking good, even if we could just, just play, just draw on a land there and be able to play Vanifar. Because the Vanifar being a 2-4 checks the, the Trickster and Exclusion Mage. Now we're just dead. What a frustrating game. Rejuvenator completely whiffed. Just didn't have any lands anywhere. We saw one land in the top, like... Uh, you know, we cut the two lander. We saw one land in the top. I don't know what we saw there. Like 12 cards, maybe? Something like that. Hey, it's all good, Nari. Final boss is tough. It's hard mode right there. That's still a real good league, though. 1,700 gems. Get our... or Sorry, 1,700 gold. Get our 20 gems for the M19 rare. That looks like we already had. Um, so, Team Ravanifar performed pretty well. Overall, I was... Definitely glad we beat both uh, Soltai opponents. Playing, you know, creature decks like this is usually kind of tough against Soltai. Uh, Tatiova, we didn't get to do anything cool with, so uh, maybe replace Tatiova. Maybe put a Lava Coil in the main deck. It's kind of lame to have a Lava Coil in the main deck, also, but you know, maybe that could be a way to go. Maybe something else. Maybe a Daredevil. We just put a Daredevil in the main deck. Daredevil's a cooler card. I don't know. Tatiova ended up not being so great. I mean, we did use Tatiova one time. It did help us, actually, it did help us win the match against Soltai that other time after finality when our opponent had that 6 6. Um, uh, that 6 6 creature, uh, Hydroid Crisis. And we had Vanifar uh, survive. We got to play Tatiova as a 5 drop, go get Ravager Worm. And because of Rhythm of the Wild on the battlefield, it was a 6-7. Overall, Rejuvenator was really good for us. We were light on lands quite a bit. Uh, Rejuvenator honestly helped out in a lot of games. It was just that last game was real disappointing how we whiffed. That was our one time to whiff. Um, but there was a lot of games where we had only a couple lands, but Rejuvenator helped us out there. So... Uh, that Mirror Image was good, honestly. like We, we got to copy Oozes a few times. Uh, Mirror Image was good. Siege Gang was underwhelming. Yeah, Siege Gang and Tatiova were the two most underwhelming cards for us. Um, so, there we go. All right, so if you're watching this later on on YouTube, of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.